Kaylin, and I am coming to you with a wrap up. I thought I would do an October, November wrap up. Um, I don't really tend to read a lot from month to month. Like sometimes I'll read like one or two books and it's not really worth a monthly wrap up. So I thought I would just uh, combine two months and show you what I read. So I have six books. And I am trying to film with a new camera. I have an iPad mini now, and I'm just figuring that out. So if it looks awkward, uh, I apologize. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've read in the months of October and November. So the first book I have is kind of, it's a workbook actually, pen and ink drawing workbook. And as I've said in my channel, I've gotten interested in picking up ink drawing so that's what this is all about um, and it gives you a lot of like tips and tricks and just uh, techniques of different strokes and has you do a lot of activities um, as you can see here some of them eh, the lighting is not very good so but anyway this was just a fun activity book it took me a while to get through but I enjoyed it a lot and I love to draw and I'd like to keep drawing. So this really helped. So that was Pen and Ink Drawing by Alfonso Dunn. And the next book I read was The Artist's Way. And I'm, I apologize for the glare here. I have to figure that out. Um, but this book I read with my sister and it really gets you working on finding your inner creativity and um, I guess your inner artist, as the title suggests. Uh, it's a 12-week program, and I stuck through the 12 weeks. You're supposed to write three pages every day, and that's not just for people who want to be writers. It's really to get out the clutter in your mind and to just um, let out your inner critics, really. And it really helped me. So it helped me to pick up drawing and get more inspired to do a lot more creative things. Um, painting my walls, as you can see in the back, was kind of part of this, kind of give me that jump start to get moving and doing things. So this book suggests that your creativity is a gift and that everybody is creative, whether they think so or not. Um, and so this was a really good book. I, got, I gave it four stars. It was motivational. I read it at a time where I really, I think, needed it. So I was kind of um, creatively stagnant. So I really recommend this book if you are uh, looking to kind of use your inner talents and um, interested in getting involved in art or music or acting or really whatever creative endeavor you've been putting off, this will give you a lot of helpful insight and push uh, to do that. So that's the artist way. I think I gave that four stars on Goodreads, four out of five. Next book I read was The Disappearing by Lori Roy, and this was a mystery thriller. It's set in Florida. Um, it's about a woman who comes back to her hometown, and she has a past that is rather ugly in that town. Actually, it involves her family. Uh, her father was um, one of the people who worked in a home for boys, and there were always rumors about him. Um, mistreating the boys and a lot of the boys history tells um, did not uh, return home from this school they either disappeared or a lot of them died at this home for boys so there's a big stigma around her family and while she's at home one of her daughters goes missing and so the story kind of takes off from there she has to figure out how to get her daughter back and at the same time kind of um, come to terms with the family that she has and, and she's moved back in with her parents and her father is a very elderly man he's not completely uh, with it uh, doesn't remember always what time period he's in and so she has to come to terms with that and with her mother with her relationship with her mother um, and just there's a mystery like i said surrounding this about what happened to this girl and another girl actually had disappeared also um so it's a thriller mystery uh i enjoyed it i thought it was a little bit slow at times but um I, it was pretty atmospheric and it, I, I think it set the the setting pretty well um so i think i gave this 
four, I think I gave it four out of five stars. I really liked the cover as well. So and this is actually based on an actual school in Florida. Um, I think it's in the Panhandle. I don't remember the name of the, the real school, but um, unfortunately it's partially, it's based on a true school that um, had um, mistreated boys and some boys had uh, been killed there or had died mis under mysterious circumstances there. So I think the author kind of took that and, and made a fictional story of it. And she actually lives in, in Florida. So um, that's The Disappearing. Next book I read was Everyday Matters by Danny Gregory. And I apologize for the glare here. And I will figure that out. And that's a little bit better. <laughs> This is about a man who discovered he had a talent for drawing late in life after experiencing tragedy with his wife. His wife was on a subway platform in New York. She somehow fell off the platform and a train rolled over her legs and she became paralyzed, I guess, from the waist down. So she had to uh, use a wheelchair and it was just like through coping and learning how to deal with this new lifestyle and this tragedy that um, this man, Danny Gregory, picked up a pencil or a pen and taught himself how to draw. And it turns out he has a very um, good, great talent for it. So I wish I could t show you some of these drawings. Oh, that's a little bit better. Um, he, he drew a lot of just everyday things and See, these are just like soup cans. Um, and he just learned to kind of find the beauty in everyday things and in drawing. And he drew like everywhere and everything and, and just really learned to appreciate everything more um, while at the same time kind of becoming closer to his wife and his son who was growing up along with when this happened. He was very young. Um, and just kind of um, becoming accustomed to life with someone who is um, in a wheelchair and so this was very a lovely book I I didn't always um, care for all of the writing in it but the drawings were enough to, to, to hold my interest uh, the rest of the time um, for throughout the book I should say uh, I really loved his style and with my own interest in drawing I anything about like artists or drawing like artists who like to draw with ink interests me so here's a, actually a quote that I highlighted. Every day matters. I think so. I do. But I really have to work to force myself to see its value sometimes. And drawing has really helped me to do that. When I look back at a drawing I did months ago, I am back in that moment. Faster than a time machine. And so that was a lovely book. I think I gave it four out of five. Uh, two more books. Uh, this. The next book I read was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I read this with my sister. This is a book I would not normally have picked up. Um, it's about uh, an old time Hollywood actress who is in um, her later stages of, of life and she is uh, going to donate a bunch of her dresses to an auction and she wants to write about it and she chooses a uh, kind of a rookie magazine writer to write her story for her. Well, um, the story is told from different points of view. It goes back and forth from the writer who is kind of a bit flabbergasted as to why she was chosen for writing this, this piece. And um, it goes, well, when she meets this actress, Evelyn Hugo, who's really a, a, a legend, um, it goes into her story and she decides to tell her whole story to her and it just goes through all the husbands that she has and why she has married seven husbands and there's a lot more to it than that um, but I really enjoyed the story I listened to it on audible and um, it was a lot better than I thought it would be um, I just kind of figured I don't know with the title I guess I got a certain impression about it that was uh, and through a fault of myself, I guess, just um, kind of presumptuous. But I, I, I really, she's really engaging as a person. Um, there are some questionable things about her, um, but her relationships that she forms are very interesting. She may, meets a lot of interesting people. 
the friendships that she gains and the people in her life are just very, very interesting. Um, this book made me cry. Um, it was, you do root for her throughout the book despite her flaws and um, shortcomings. Um, and it's just, it's just very, very um, multi-layered book and it surprised me and I'm glad that I read it because it wasn't a book, like I said, that I normally pick up. So it's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I gave this, again, four out of five. So there's a pattern here of giving books four stars lately. Um, so that's that book. And I have one more. And that is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvel. And this has been talked about a lot on BookTube already. Um, this is um, book one in the Themis files. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Themis. So I think there are two other books. I know the second book has come out already and it hasn't been as well lauded as the first book. Um, but this is again a book I wouldn't normally pick up because it's sort of in the sci-fi realm and I don't really get into sci-fi that much. But this I am reading with, or was reading with my ex-boyfriend and it was on his recommendation. And the premise is actually kind of interesting. So um, this, she's a, there's a little girl who's riding her bike in the woods and she falls into a hole and it turns out she when she like comes to and there are rescuers there she has landed in this kind of iron hand like a giant giant hand like of a giant uh, well, a robot hand well it's just a giant hand as far as they know but anyway um, it jumps forward in time to when this girl is actually, you know, a grown woman and she becomes a scientist and she uh, is studying this hand and it turns out there are other discoveries that there are other parts, um, iron parts that are found and there's a leg found and then, then there's a torso found so obviously there's parts that are becoming um, that are con connected into this giant robot. Anyway, I'm not explaining that well, but she is studying this and it's something they never have ever seen before. And um, they get a team together to, um, actually there are different panels that are found, um, kind of wall panels and they have strange writing on them. And they hire a linguist and um, to, Kind of figure out what the symbols might mean and there's just there's just a team that's developed and it goes through the relationship of the team and them uncovering this mystery so it, it's part science fiction it's part um kind of political and what would you do if you found this gigantic um I keep saying, like, I think, think gigantic giant, but that's very redundant. <laughs> like, this let's just call it gigantic robot when they put all the pieces together. Um, and anyway, it, it's kind of a, the whole question of is this, the, the giant has um, powers of um, uh, creating energy and releasing energy and it is ultimately destructive. So there's the whole question of whether it's for protection or whether it can be used for mass destruction. So anyway, this is a very good book. It was, it surprised me. It's four, I gave this four out of five stars again. Um, I don't know if I'll continue with the second book, but I, there are mysteries in the first book that didn't really get totally wrapped up. And I'd sort of be interested to know what happens in the next book. So I might pick up the second, although I heard it's not as good as the first one. But that's Sleeping Giants, and those are the books that I read for October, November. And I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you've read any of these books and would like to comment, please let me know. I'm still getting used to, this is my first time filming with this, so I have to figure out lighting and I have to figure out where I'm supposed to look because I feel like I'm looking off into outer space. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm sorry I just got up and I didn't get dressed yet and my hair is a mess obviously, but I wanted to make sure I got this film out for you guys and um, that's all I have. I will probably be filming uh, TBR for December because I have a bunch of books on deck that I want to read and I'd like to talk about those. So, um, hope you have a great day. Um, enjoy the beginning of December. It's snowing here where I live. I hope it stops because I don't want to be driving out in it. But anyway, hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon and goodbye.